Hey guys, Dave and Callie. Yeah, I know you haven't seen me in a while. Uh, I've been working on a big project, which I'll probably tell you about a little bit later, uh, maybe in another video. But anyway, I just had to, I had to do this because, you know, the view and Whoopi Goldberg, I used to like Whoopi, Whoopi you know, back when she was doing the comedy stuff and so forth. But, uh, you know, listening to her, uh, her beliefs and so forth on the view just uh, drives me nuts. Most of the time she makes inflammatory statements, uh, you know, based on just hearsay, you know, she doesn't really know uh, the background of some of the topics that she starts talking about. And, you know, of course, like you all know, it got her in trouble, but they're back in trouble again. Uh, matter of fact, there's a thing trending right now on uh, uh, Twitter to sue The View. And I know you guys are probably all familiar with uh, Turning Point. Well, they were having a recent uh, student action summit in Florida, which, you know, a lot of the top conservative speakers showed up, you know, like President Trump and, and Governor Ron DeSantis and so forth. So they were doing their thing. And on day two, uh, a group of protesters formed outside. Uh, you know, that stuff happens. And they started protesting. And all of a sudden, the view gets the handle on this uh, information and starts spouting off about how these neo-Nazi protesters were allowed into the event. Check out what Whoopi and them say on this clip. And, oh, okay, so you have to read this thing. Oh, I've got a legal note. Uh, the conservative oh, yes, group. Sonny normally does this, but you I can... know, yes. I know. Yes. This is our knockoff lawyer. Oh, yeah. The conservative <laughs> group, Turning Point USA, has condemned the group of neo Nazis and said they have nothing to do with the organization. Yeah, but where was DeSantis? Is what I want to know. But you let them in. President, open your you let them in and you knew what they were. Right. So you are complicit. We'll be right back. So now, Turning Point came out and said, you know, they, they, want, they were going to force them to recant and retract on what they said, uh, mainly what Whoopi said, because somehow getting the word out that they let them into the event kind of, you know, it's all about changing perception of what the general public thinks, because the general public's a lot like Whoopi. They don't look into things they don't research they just go by what they hear and heck if you saw it on the view it's gotta be true right <laughs> well so they they were forced to do to uh retract this thing and check this video out how they kind of but whoopi was still kind of resisting the the uh, retraction Quick clarification about the neo-Nazis at the Turning Point event. They were outside protesters. My point was more metaphorical. That you, you embraced them at your thing, I felt. So I just, they were not in the building. They no, but you know, what, okay. you know what? If the so-called Antifa, who are anti-fascist, that's what Antifa stands for, uh -huh. would go there and protest, then Antifa would get a bad reputation. That's why, when I uh, hear that Antifa is... Uh, right, but that's not... But let me just make sure that everybody... Because, you know, misunderstanding what people say is very big. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So we want to make sure you... I know they were not in the building, but right. they were in the mix of people at the thing. You know how... Now, there was a group of uh, Antifa and, and left-wing protesters that showed up, but particularly they, they protested and they eventually just dispersed and went on their way. I got a little clip of them. Get up my back! Okay. Get up my back! Guys, it's a real... You should kill yourself. I should kill myself? Why? Why? Why should I kill myself? So the group that caused all this hoopla was outside on day two not the day that DeSantis was out there but uh, on day two and watch this little clip
So this group was mostly uh, students that uh, com confronted and argued with individuals. And, and of course, security tried to remove them. And, um, you know, they were, of course, as you saw, they had the uh, Nazi flag and so forth. And, and obviously, they are kind of a neo-Nazi group. Uh, but just coming out and saying that, or even that statement alone, apparently uh, lawyers say that uh, the view could be in trouble for that too. One of the things I thought was kind of funny is there was a guy on Twitter that was following, uh, you know, the uh, sue the view uh, hashtag, and he noticed that it got up to number 10 and they were all of a sudden they're kind of manipulating it. It got all the way up to number six nationwide. And then two minutes later after he checked it, it just disappeared. And the top thing was uh, some other uh, thing about uh, some football game. But uh, it was just kind of interesting how it seems that Twitter is still doing their manipulation of what people see and trying to slow down this trend of sue the view. I think they everybody should sue the view. I think every you know just my followers alone would send in a letter to, to the view and say demand you know Whoopi and them be uh, taken off the show would probably be enough to uh, overturn her position there at the view or even have the whole show canceled. Um, you know, you, you get several thousand people writing in, it has impact. What, you know, cause the, the uh, network looks at it, it, you know, as how many eyeballs are on there. And it, that, that kind of stuff, that kind of stuff scares them, you know, and they, they Ooh, we better make some changes here. Anyway, guys, um, that's it. That's what I got for you today. It was just kind of interesting. So I thought we would talk about it. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. And check out my next video because I'm going to let you know what I've been up to and why you haven't seen a lot of videos here lately. I'm kind of excited. We'll see you on the next one.